The name Trump is coming down off of Trump Soho, the 45-story hotel condo in Lower Manhattan. Uh, it kind of caps a bumpy year for the Trump Organization, uh, the president's company. President Trump decided to keep ownership of his company while he's in the White House. The president committed to not doing any new foreign deals while uh, he was in office. And so his sons who are running the company, Donald Trump Jr. and Eric Trump, are uh, sort of maintaining a lot of the properties that they had when his father was running it and trying to expand domestically. Um, but they've also had some setbacks. So Soho is a very prominent example. Uh, the property is not owned by the Trump Organization, but has been managed by the company and, of course, branded by the company. And earlier this year, the owners of it decided to part ways with the Trump Organization and pay a settlement to the Trump uh, Organization. We don't know the amount, um, but it's a project that the Trump Organization worked incredibly hard um, to, get, to get built. And Donald Trump personally spent a lot of time trying to get approvals for the building to, to get built and to get zoned. Um, and after that very long fight, getting the building up and opened in 2010, they will only, will only have been in the building and participating in it for seven years. We don't have all the company's financials, obviously, but we do know that the DC Hotel started off the year extremely profitably. And we know lots of their clients are Republican campaigns, they are conservative groups, they're Christian organizations. From all um, information we have, it looks like the DC Hotel is doing wonderfully. The trouble is, in a lot of these other luxury properties that are in often, you know, blue states politically or big cities where Trump is really not very popular, those properties have suffered more. So you're, you're seeing, uh, obviously, the name came off of the building in Toronto. Uh, the name is coming off of Soho. Um, there's some, some disagreement about the name in Panama. Um, and there are questions about some of the finances, finances of buildings, even like in Chicago, where um, Trump has a big stake in that building and runs it and brands it. So, you know, it's hard to say what will happen in 2018, but there's definitely a question as to whether he can con his company can continue, continue to maintain these buildings in places where he's not very popular politically. I think what's extraordinary here is his decision to maintain ownership of these businesses while he's in the White House. Um, it would have been hard to completely sell off all of his real estate, but um, you know, at the beginning of the year, uh, the president said that he was going to stick to politics and not do anything with his business, and his sons who run the company said they were going to stay out of politics. At the same time, you see his sons obviously making cable television appearances, constantly on social media talking about politics, in Washington r routinely um, meeting with uh, members of his, his administration, and those appearances and those um, conversations make it seem less distinct between those Trump family members for running the business and those who are running the country.